This video will show you how to use RNG Reporter with Heart Gold and Soul Silver to catch your desired roaming Pokemon. Start by opening the RNG Reporter and then the Time Finder function. This is used to find out what seed we need to use. Set how much you're willing to advance the frame, your minimum delay based on your calibration, and your max based on how long you're happy to wait. Set your IV search parameters, your nature, and make sure you're still set to method 1, then hit generate. For the stats I chose, I wanted to ensure a max speed, but wasn't worried about losing a point here and there. Okay, we're starting to see some results pour in. When you see the result that you want after it's done, right click it and copy the seed to the clipboard. Back on the main window, open the 4th gen tools and open seed to time. Paste your seed, select HGSS and click generate. If you had roamers, make sure you enter them first and generate after that. Go through, find a time that you're happy with, click it to select it, then go down and click odd and even should match the seeds delay and click generate for the second list. This screen is useful if you have other roamers still on the field. It will show on the right side where those roamers should be if you hit the seed correctly and therefore a lot easier to verify. I only had Latios left to catch, so that's what this video is based on. Now we're almost ready to start. Open pick a timer and enter your calibrated delay. My average was 490 on the left and your target delay, which for the seed I chose was 2074. Also input your calibrated seconds, which I had 13, and the wanted second is the seconds of the time, as shown in RNG Reporter, mine of which was 59. Create your timer and get your DS ready to go. Check the minutes before target and set your DS clock ready accordingly. With your DS on the time ready to go, and pick a timer set on the computer, Press A and spacebar at the same time to start the timer. While it's counting down to the first timer, reboot the DS and start the game. You will have wanted to save for exactly one step before the auto walk sequence, as shown on the DS screen, and have your pokey gear on the radio tuner off tune from any station, preferably right down the bottom so you don't accidentally touch another station. When the timer gets close to zero, make sure you hold down start, <coughs> select and R buttons ready for the soft reset. And as soon as it does hit zero, tap L to reset on the first timer. Now, quickly return to the continue screen, but do not continue the game yet. When the timer hits zero again, that's when you will press A. Okay, that's the timing out of the way. Now open your pokey gear and use the radio to advance the frame. If you have other roamers, check your map to see if it corresponds with RNG Reporter. I have to reach frame 47, so I have to advance it by 46. I'll skip this. And with that done, all that's left is the battle lance and catch the roamer. 
Now, if you did have other roamers, remember that they would increase the frame already by one for each roamer on the field. So if I had Entei and Raikou still out there, it, I would only need to advance by 44. Now catch Latios and check its stats and nature to see how close we were. Right, so obviously this isn't the timid Latios that I was trying for. So I'll put it through an IV calculator and see exactly how close I got. Once you've done that, open up the 4th gen tools, find seed by IV range, and input the details. Just also make sure that the delay is the two ranges that you selected for picker timer. And click find. Right, so we can see that my method frame was correct at 47. The seconds was correct, but my delay was out by 30. Since it was out by a fair bit, I'll put this out in picker timer and it'll adjust the timer for me. Okay, I've just done my second attempt. This time I came up with the lax Ledios. The timer was 2072, so it was a lot closer than previous. Unfortunately for me, I had to keep going through the Elite Four to keep checking. If you had other roamers, make sure that you check the map and enter in the map details so you can check the right seed while you're at the Elite Four. Every attempt you do make, especially if it's wrong, just double check the stats to see how close the delay was. Just to make sure that you're on the right track and you didn't do something funny that time. This attempt for example, I tried doing something else on the computer while picker timer was running. So it threw the seconds out and messed up my delay. Eventually, I do get the Latios that I've been looking for. And the RNG turns out to be a success. We can see on the right side where I've caught the Latios and double check the stats afterwards. Whereas on the main screen, I'm checking the IVs using Metal Kid's IV calculator. The nature and characteristic pr pretty much gave it away, but it's always good to double check these things. So I put in the stats into an IV calculator. And there it is, exactly the Latios that RNG reporter predicted. While it's pretty easy to see that I did hit the correct seed and got the Latios I was trying to get, I would just go through and show the re IV results and how they match up with the seed. Now because of Latios's low level, it's advisable to use an IV calculator with several different levels. Metal Kids does this perfectly. Input the stats to confirm the IVs. And there you have it. That's how you would use RNG Reporter and Picker Timer to catch the perfect Roma using Heart Gold and Soul Silver.